Have you heard the news? Both Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman have moved from Twitch over to YouTube Gaming. Just wanted to bust out a couple of quick stats from Tim the Tatman just to show you how much of a big deal this actually is. For the month of August, he had over 40,000 average viewers. He was also responsible for 4.6 million watched hours on the Twitch platform. 4.6 million hours! Anyways, you guys don't come here for the news and all the drama alert stuff. What you come here for is to learn more about the YouTube platform as well as the more technical things when it comes to making YouTube content. With that in mind, a lot of you hearing this news are probably sitting there wondering what are the exact benefits of streaming on YouTube anyway. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down everything you get currently when you live stream on YouTube. And we're gonna talk about some of the future features that we're most likely gonna get and some of the things that I hope we get. But most of all, I'm gonna answer this question. Should you live stream on YouTube? So the first thing to understand about YouTube live streaming is that YouTube, weirdly enough, splits live streaming into two categories. You've got YouTube Live and you've got YouTube Gaming. Some people call it YouTube Live gaming I mean I don't know whatever the point is is that the only really big difference with these two is that it just dictates where you're actually found on the YouTube platform to appear in YouTube gaming all you have to do is just switch your category to gaming and then select whichever game you want and then boom you're in YouTube gaming to appear under YouTube live just select any category that you want and you're gonna appear as a regular YouTube live stream it's pretty simple and really not that complicated but I don't know why YouTube wants to do little weird stuff like this from a monetization standpoint YouTube watch hours actually count towards your watch hours if you're not monetized that being said to receive any of the monetization perks from live streaming you actually do need to be a YouTube partner meaning that you have to have 1,000 subscribers as well as the 4,000 watch hours so there's four different ways to get revenue from a YouTube live stream that being members super chats super stickers as well as just regular donations so when it comes to memberships with your YouTube live streams there's actually several really cool things that actually come with it there's the obvious things like there's emotes that the creator can set up for their community to use in their stream when someone in your community becomes a member they're actually marked as such in your comments when they're commenting on your videos as well and by far the coolest feature is that you can set your member price to whatever you want from as low as one dollar up to 49.99 another notable thing about members is the revenue split which is a 70 30 split meaning that you get 70 percent and youtube only gets 30 percent there's actually a couple of other ways you can earn revenue on your live stream such as ads like mid rolls and pre-roll ads if you really hate your viewers when the live stream is over you can obviously go back and edit segments from your live stream and either make them into youtube shorts or you can make them into regular videos. Just overall, there's a ton of flexibility when you stream on YouTube Live to be able to maximize your earnings just from one live stream. So how exactly can you stream to YouTube and what's the best way to do that? If you've live streamed before, you can use all the same softwares from OBS to Streamlabs OBS to even StreamYard, which is something really I only see on YouTube live streams. Heck, you can even stream on your phone if you wanted to. So with that being said, regardless of which software you decide to use to send your stream to YouTube, you're still gonna have to actually encode that stream before you actually send it. And arguably, right Right now, still the best way to encode your streams with the NVIDIA NVENC encoder. This encoder is found on any 16, 20, or 30 series NVIDIA graphics card. The NVENC encoder is a special chip that's built into your graphics card that takes some of the load off of your CPU when you're live streaming. This leads to a lot of really good things like a smoother, better stream experience for your viewers, a better stream experience for you while you're playing your game. Just overall, the NVENC encoder is actually really awesome and if you're not using it right now and you have an NVIDIA card, definitely be using it. There's obviously a ton more details about the NVENC encoder and just live streaming in general. And I already have a video talking about all the stuff you need to know when you're live streaming with the NVENC encoder that you can check out after this video. Some other notable features for YouTube live streaming are that you can technically stream up to 4K, but the real maximum that they suggest is 1440p. The max bit rate is 50,000, but the one that you want to be shooting for is about 25,000 to avoid any issues. You can schedule out your streams in advance and this actually suggests your videos out to the wider audience of YouTube, not just your subscribers. Just like with regular YouTube videos, you can apply thumbnails to your live streams and just make them stand out a little bit more especially if you schedule them out like I just said all right so now let's get into some of the features that will be for sure coming to YouTube live streaming and some things that I really hope do come to YouTube live streaming the first thing for sure is definitely gifted members right now twitch has something called gifted subs where people in the community can gift pretty much any number of subs that they would like it's a really great way for a creator to earn some extra revenue from an over generous member of the community the second thing is that there's obviously going to be some sort of UI adjustments over time that's one of the biggest complaints with YouTube live streaming is that the UI is not the best and nobody really likes to look at it. For me personally on desktop specifically, I would love to see some changes to the chat box. Overall, it just feels really cramped and I really like the way it looks in vertical monitors and on mobile because the chat box lives underneath the stream, which looks significantly better in my opinion. And just overall, I feel like live streams are gonna get the same amount of attention that they gave their YouTube shorts content. You gotta admit, YouTube went all out when they were thinking about and developing features for YouTube shorts. From adding their own shorts camera to 
a shorts monetization structure. They just went all out when they were putting all their energy toward YouTube shorts. So for sure, over the next year, I really do feel like YouTube is gonna be putting this same level of energy that they did with YouTube shorts into YouTube live streaming. So what are my personal hopes for the future? This seems like a really stupid thing, but I would absolutely love it if I was a member of one community, I could use my emotes from that community in somebody else's live stream. Currently, the way it works is that when you're a member of a live stream, you get access to those emotes and they're only exclusively for that live stream. So that means that you can't do things like you can do on Twitch where you can actually use your emotes in whatever stream that you would like. The second thing I would like to see is some sort of channel point reward system. The one thing I like about this feature on Twitch is how it allows creators to make their own channel points and engage their chat in whatever way they would like. Some people do the extreme and put a lot of time and effort into their channel points and some people just keep it pretty basic. But the overall thing is I would like it if YouTube would actually implement something like this to add some more engagement with your community. So let's go ahead and ask the question, should you live stream on YouTube? Yeah, of course, maybe you should, but I would not blame you at all if you wanted to wait and just ride things out and see what happens. YouTube has said this multiple times that live stream is actually a form of secondary content with your regular video. I mean, look at Dr. Disrespect, Dr. Lupo, and Tim the Tapman. What do they do? They live stream and then they cut their live streams up into highly edited videos. So that's just something to keep in mind is that if you're live streaming on YouTube, you can't just do that by itself. You're gonna have to make some sort of video on demand content. So my thoughts are don't make any drastic changes yet. Just keep doing what you're doing if you're already live streaming on a particular platform. But the one thing I will say is you should start considering making some sort of content for YouTube. So that way, if you do need to make the transition or if you want to in the future, you've already got either a small audience there or it's not as drastic of a change for your current audience, depending on what platform you're on. For me personally, when I live stream again, it's definitely gonna be on YouTube because this is where the bulk of my content is. And this is where I personally wanna grow my brand overall. So YouTube, I know you're watching this video, so I really want my Tim the Tapman deal ASAP. I'll be looking out for your email. Check out the videos on screen if you wanna learn more about the technical stuff when it comes to making YouTube videos. Anyways, guys, thank you so much and we'll see you next time.